This definitely is one of my favorite recipes in the book. This definitely is one of his recipes in the book. The perfect midweek meal. I just can't be bothered to buy a YouTuber's book, so I will try to decode the recipe from his short. First truly mandatory practice is to spill all your pistachios over the counter. Cutting these nuts is quite a hassle, so I'll first smash them using my mortar and pestle and then proceed to chop. This is either parsley or cilantro, but I do not believe that the latter one goes well with salmon, so I'll use parsley here. I will chop some dill. The next totally mandatory step is to stack your obesity inducing white bread. I am truly disappointed, but this step did not work out like in the video. I call this false advertising. Well, then we need to chop the bread too, I suppose which is totally not annoying to do. Wow, look at that. Suddenly the toast is finally chopped. Crazy. Grinding up some lemon zest and adding olive oil. Mix. Mmm. What is it with Brits and their unhealthy obsession with beans? Well, whatever, we will see how that turns out. Also, I have no idea where to get butter beans from, so I'll stick with regular white beans. I'll first grab some fresh tomatoes from my garden. And instead of a baking tray, I use a casserole form. My wife doesn't like beans, so I substitute half of them for spinach on one side. It's herby salmon, so I cut up some fresh herbs with my knife. Just kidding. I'll chop those with my food processor too. And top it off with olive oil, salt and fresh ground pepper. No idea what he does here, but judging from the later parts of the video, he pre-cooked the veg in the oven, so I'll do just that. I went shopping for this dish on a Saturday evening. Literally all salmon was sold out except for this one pack of frozen animal humiliation. Radioactive salmon it is then. At first I unfreeze this unholy block of ice. Is it just me or is this lump of moist protein looking kind of thick? Oh. The main antagonist of this dish is still soggy like my pants when I accidentally touch the hand of the female cashier while paying with cash in the supermarket. So I'll just try it with a kitchen towel first. The stuff he's coating the fish in is either mustard or vanilla pudding. I'll take a wild guess and go with Dijon mustard this time around before covering it in breadcrumbs. Already smelling kinda good. Let's put everything into the oven until the salmon reaches an internal temperature of around 63 degrees Celsius. Done. Apart from the spinach's 3 degree burns, it actually looks pretty good. Let me show you what an expensive knife can do to your average lemon when you haven't sharpened it in the past week. First try. 
let's top the dish off with some delicious lemon seeds. And then give it a taste and rate it 6 through 9. Wow, that's actually a very well balanced meal and the fresh sweet tomatoes go perfectly with the thick beans and the interesting texture of the salmon's crust. A solid 8.5 out of 9 from me will definitely do again. That's about it, see ya!